Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to take off and land vertically using Dino Cattiano's F-35B. Uh, first, what you're going to do is you're going to dump some fuel so you're lighter. Uh, otherwise it won't, it just, it won't let you hover at all. Um, if you want to just do a short takeoff, I uh, suggest just dumping the uh, wing tanks. Um, that's all you want to do at that point because uh, if you keep all your fuel, you're, it's not going to be a short takeoff. It actually almost seems longer than a normal one to me. And uh, so just dump some fuel before you do that. And uh, I'll just hang on a sec here. I only dumped enough to hover, which is actually quite a lot. Actually, quite a lot of fuel we need. Just be patient. you can do while you're waiting is if you want you can set your flaps full and your speed brake if you want it uh, doesn't really matter and uh, sometimes it can help with uh, it's nice for transitioning from uh, hovering to conventional flight so I usually just leave them down like that just a bit more Okay, that should be about good. Um, so now what you're going to do is you can either hit this, or you can just uh, hit Shift Q. That will engage the lift fan and lower the nozzle. So you can see right here. There we go. It's all down. Down at 60 degrees. So what you're going to do is push forward on the stick so you don't have such a sudden jolt, push forward, now hit hover, there we go, see that lowered, and the bounce we got there, so now what you're going to do is simply just pull up, so now pulling up on the stick, just throttle, so you can see the nozzle kind of moving there, pushing down, decreases, pulling up, increases, so you just hold the stick in the middle, you'll, you'll just hover. Uh, it's very, very good handling uh, in the hover. It's very stable. Um, so now what you're going to do is if you want to transition to normal flight, like I said, leave the flaps down. And now what you're just going to do is click that hover button again. As you see, the nozzle go back to 60 degrees. I can track your landing gear now. Disengage the speed brake, and now you can hit that same button again. Full throttle, and there you go. Now, make sure that when you're transitioning back to uh, vertical flight, I, you don't want to be higher than 230 knots because that will the nozzle won't, won't open at that speed so I'm going to slow down a bit here okay now I'm plenty slow so I'm just gonna go ahead and sh hit shift Q that'll open these over my landing gear figure it might as well uh, so now what you want to do is just slow down a little bit more Make sure you have just a little bit of fuel left, only about that much. Um, so now I'm slowing down to very slow, so now I'm going to hit the hover button again. And just like that. So now you can just push down all the way. It'll be a, it's a fairly slow descent, but it's not bad. Once again, very good handling, very easy to control. Uh, it's very nice, actually. Here with the 
pilots in the real world think the same thing. Actually, yeah, pilots who have flown Harriers before. Okay. And you can also just uh, you can use rudder too. You know. Now, rudder works just the same way. The only thing that doesn't work the same way, of course, is pitch, which just, like I said, up and down just controls throttle. It doesn't actually control pitch anymore. Sure you're nice and level, so you have a smooth landing. And this works very well on carriers, too. Uh, if the carrier is moving, I usually don't uh, click the hover button because then you're not moving and the carrier is and it's kind of hard to land on it. So, I'm just going to shift Q again. And there you go. So yeah, always remember dump some fuel before you go into vertical mode. Um, yeah, and just dump wing tanks for short takeoff. And uh, yeah, the more fuel you dump, the easier it is to land in the stovel mode, so don't forget that. It's imp quite important. So, well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope I helped. Uh, please uh, comment, uh, subscribe, tell me what you think. If there's any other videos you want me to make, I'll see what I can do about making them. I'll see you next time.